Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Dean and Andrea, and today we're doing a special Christmas video where we have lots of really cool Christmas projects. First, we're gonna take you along with us as we decorate our living room for Christmas, and then we have two quick furniture flips, one of which unintentionally turned out to be a bit of a Christmas piece, and after that, we thought it would be fun to share the story of how Dean proposed since it was on Christmas 14 years ago, and things didn't go quite like we had planned. And then lastly, we're gonna have a bit of a fun Christmas song what competition challenge <laughs> which I'm still not sure how I let Dean convince me into <laughs> that so stick around to the end of the video and we're gonna have a lot of fun together let's go ahead and dive in before we dive in we want to thank today's video sponsor Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, or just get lost in creativity. You can take classes on drawing and painting, filming and video editing, and there's even classes on business and marketing. I will be checking out Marquez Brownlee's YouTube success course as I do all of the production here on our channel and I wanna grow those skills. Skillshare classes are curated specifically for learning. That means that there's no ads so you can stay focused and they're always launching new premium classes so you can take your creative skills to the next level. If you're interested in taking classes on Skillshare, be sure to check out the link in our description as the first thousand people to use that link will get a free month on Skillshare. Every year, our family really looks forward to putting up our Christmas tree together. We've had this tree now for several years and I really like it because it is so easy to set up and has all of the lights already installed and they all still work, which means we can get to decorating a lot faster. I did buy a couple of new things for our tree this year, the first of which was this tree collar that I picked up at Target. I really love the way this covers the not so pretty looking artificial base and just gives it a more finished look overall. After you have your tree all set up, the next really important step is floofing. The way she explained it to me, you kind of bend the branches this way and that to give it a more full lifelike look. Next, I added these wood garlands and I already had a couple of strands of these from previous years and I was so excited to see more of them back in stock at Target this year so I could get more. To me, these are the equivalent of stringing popcorn, but just done in a more elegant and less edible way. Every year, we have this tradition where the kids each get to pick out a new ornament, and this is always such a huge highlight for everyone. Not only do they all get to choose a new ornament, but it is so fun to pull out our big box of ornaments and see all of the ones that they've chosen over the years. And it seems that we are having an unintentionally woodsy-themed Christmas tree this year. I guess our kids are just kind of obsessed with cute little animals. I picked up this copper colored velvet ribbon at Hobby Lobby and I just love the simple texture and color that it adds to the tree. When I asked Andrea if she had tore up some old pants to create these ribbons, she was a little bit offended. I love the bit of sparkle that these icicle ornaments have and I'm pretty sure that we've had these along with all of our ball ornaments since some of our first Christmases together and I just keep using them year after year. We let the kids help put these balls up wherever they want to throughout the tree and then we readjust them later because sometimes they put them right beside each other. Once we had all of our ornaments on, I just felt like it was missing a little something and so I tied a few quick bows with this beautiful burgundy four inch ribbon that I found on Amazon and I felt like that was the perfect finishing touch. All in all, the tree turned out beautifully and I think if you can look at your tree and it makes you happy, then you've done a great job decorating your tree. To finish out this space, I added several candlesticks to the mantle along with the faux garland that I also picked up at Target. I had actually ordered several garlands online that were much more expensive than this one, but when I got them in our space, I just honestly didn't like them. And then lo and behold, I'm walking through Target and find this garland that is a fraction of the cost and it ended up looking perfect in our space. I finished off the mantle by adding these knit stockings that I picked up at World Market several years ago and then adding these thin twinkle lights that I just love using in greenery like this. 
and we all really love how our Christmas tree turned out. And obviously I'm not aiming for some super fancy designer Christmas tree here, but it's a style that we really enjoy and I hope that we provide at least a little bit of inspiration as you go and decorate your tree this year. Next, we want to take you on a little furniture flipping adventure where we took these two pieces and unintentionally turned one into a Christmas themed piece. But we need to back up to the beginning of this story and how I actually got these pieces and this is a story I will never ever forget. Even though the seller had previously warned me that she was a bit of a furniture hoarder, I was still not prepared for this. Look, I can even show all of the furniture. So I have never seen so much furniture in one person's home, and to be honest, it was a bit overwhelming. Oh my goodness. What? But after about an hour and a half of walking around with my mouth hanging open, I was able to pick out several pieces that I liked, including this bentwood rocker and this cane coffee table. I grabbed both of these because the cane on them was in pretty much perfect condition and I've always wanted to refinish one of these Bentwood rocking chairs. Both of these pieces had been stored outside for at least some time and they were both very dirty so I decided to take them into the yard and give them a good hose down. originally planned on painting both of these pieces, but as I cleaned the coffee table, I realized the wood was actually in near perfect condition under all of that grime. And so instead of painting it, I decided to try and restore it to its original beauty. The old existing finish was completely worn away, and so after spraying it down and giving it a good scrubbing, I decided to use feed and wax to add back some moisture and provide a protective finish to the wood. I love how this piece turned out and I'm so glad I didn't cover up that beautiful wood grain. And I bought this piece for $20 and with really minimal effort was able to turn around and sell it for $150. The wood on the rocking chair, on the other hand, was a different story, and so I stuck to my original plan of painting it. In preparation for paint, I sanded as much of the frame as I could reach with my sander to smooth out some of those scratches and gouges. The seat of this chair must have been repaired at some point because it did not match the cane on the back and since I didn't want to paint this part, I remedied that by applying a gel stain to both the seat and the back. The gel stain worked perfectly to give a more uniform look on the cane and after I was finished, I used mineral spirits to wipe off any excess on the wood so that it didn't interfere with the adhesion of the paint. Once the stain dried, I was ready for paint and I decided to go with this new color by Melange Paint and I have to say I was a bit freaked out when I first opened the jar because it looks much more like a bright violet magenta kind of color when I was really going for a deep burgundy maroon sort of color. It's the color of jelly. It's the color of jelly? But thankfully, once the paint dried, it was more like what I had in mind and was this beautiful, rich burgundy color. Two to three coats was enough for great solid coverage, but it took a lot longer than I thought with all of these little nooks and crannies and curves on this chair, but I love how the chair turned out and it is definitely unique. It 
although it's outside of my typical color selection and may not be everyone's cup of tea, I love how this unique piece turned out. And this wasn't my intention, but there's no denying how perfectly this fits in with our Christmas decor and so it has been dubbed the Christmas Rocker. So next in our video, we are doing a little Christmas song piano challenge where we're each gonna play three songs and have ourselves just a friendly little Christmas competition. It's not a fair competition. Yes, You got to practice. Whatever. So I grew up playing the piano and can read music, but wasn't really taught music theory and don't play by ear for sure. Whereas Dean plays by ear, he plays what he hears, makes up all his own stuff and doesn't read music Doesn't at read all. music at all. So we come from two very different approaches to piano and music in general. She more takes it from here and translates it into here. I take it from <laughs> here and translate it into there. So let's get this little competition underway. You guys can vote as to who you think is the, the better Christmas caroler. So let's start with song round number one. All right, so before round one, I was feeling pretty excited, pretty confident. After round one, I am not feeling very confident. I forgot how good you are. And uh, yeah, just be gracious to me in the comments, please. All right, so let's get into round two. Go! <laughs> So after round two, I feel like it's just going a little further downhill for me, but you're doing a beautiful job. <laughs> and I also feel like it's unfair because you have Asher on your side. That's like, you're getting this extra confidence boost and love boost that I'm not getting. So anyways, let's- Oh yeah, that's a big advantage having a kid <laughs> sit in your lap. <laughs> so let's jump into round number three. That's not a Christmas song, is it? So that's all three rounds of the Christmas Song Piano Challenge. Great job. 
Hopefully we both provided some fun, entertaining Christmas piano playing for you. I think it's pretty easy to see who the winner is and it's not, it's not me. me. But that's all for this little segment and we hope you enjoyed it. So on to the next segment. Here in this last segment of the video, we thought it would be fun to tell you the story of our proposal and engagement and it's a uh, unique little hiccups that, that happen along the way. We thought this little story would be appropriate for this video because Dean actually proposed on Christmas Day. Hey. How many years ago was that? Oh, like 72, I think. So it started after dating for over three years and I knew that the time had come to propose and for us to get married. But the unique part of this is that when I went to her parents to ask their daughter's hand in marriage, great conversation. They said yes, by all means. And then uh, and then the cat kind of slipped out of the bag a little bit. So I had been away from the house and Dean had asked my parents if he could come over. And as soon as I walked in, my mom goes, guess who came over to talk to us? Lydia! <laughs> Come on! And mom, don't hate us for sharing this. Obviously, like we totally laugh about it now. Like my mom is the sweetest person ever. And so if yes. you knew her, it's it's funny because she's just so sweet and she would never ever ruin a surprise, but we still tease her about it now. But mom, I love you and don't hate me for telling everybody else. She probably let the cat out of the bag because she's a veterinarian and cats in bags, oh, it's just stop. not a good thing. <laughs> so fast forward a few months, I had gotten a ring. I had plotted this grand proposal, at least it was grand in my mind and I was gonna propose to Andrea at my family's house on Christmas night under the beautiful Christmas lights. And so I had told my family that this was gonna happen. And what I did was I actually had multiple gifts in this gift basket for her. And so she was gonna open one and then the second one and then the last one was gonna be this present. I mean, I'm sure she couldn't guess what Special was about to happen. Box. Special little box. Like this present, you have to go into the other room for blindfolded. And so as she was opening this basket of gifts in one of the back rooms, my younger brother came in on, on about present number two <laughs> and said, hey, did she open her presents yet? And I was like, get out of the room, man. I'm kind of already like hard to surprise because I think that's just surprise. the problem solver in me. So after I, <laughs> gave my little brother one of these and one of those. I finally let her out on her third present and we go down into the living room. It's all mood lights and beautiful Christmas lights and I bring her in front of the tree. She has her eyes closed and I get ready to go down to one knee and as I look over at the Christmas tree, under the Christmas tree is laying my younger brother underneath a blanket as if that would conceal him from our sight. And so I'm kneeling down and I'm like, Get out of there. <laughs> what are you doing? I went ahead and just proposed because we were already in the moment and there's no going back at that point. But we were basically five feet away from my little brother who was uh, laying under the Christmas tree. And you know, uh, it was pretty funny in hindsight. But we made the uh, most of it. And now it's 39 years later and we're happily married. <laughs> and younger brother who I will not name. I love you. I forgive you. I'm not bitter about it. I mean, I'm a little bitter about it, but I'm not that bitter about it. I'll see you at Christmas. So we hope you enjoyed this special Christmas video and we wish you and yours all the best in this holiday season. Yo, look, there's a Chris I'm carrying a Christmas tree on my back. We're not ADD at all. Check. Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Dean, and today I'm filming by myself because every time Andrew and I start to film, another kid comes in and... Still oh wait, you're back. Are you ready to film? <laughs> Just ignore the crying in the background. But just in case you didn't realize, we actually have four kids. Of course, we love them, but we do film in our house. And we try and get them all set up and ready to go when we hit record. We had just well, about to say the line. We discover true. that deep need and longing for granola bars. Sometimes so they're like right there like, in the kitchen like... <laughs> Mom! That's pretty much how it goes. When the weather outside is 75 degrees and beautiful in Texas. Not, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm focused in the zone and you're over here. <laughs> you need to get more professional about this. Okay? This is our job now. <laughs> Cheesy! Cheesy! First Christmas video. Incredible. Did you fall while riding your scooter? I laid it on a paintbrush. I 
can eat chaps. Do you have some in your lips? Nope. Jet. Andrea. <laughs> this is my right hand. <laughs> For a long time, you've been better at me at everything. Better than me. <laughs> you've been better, what did I say? Better at me. Dang it, let's try that again. Andrea, I know this is your right hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold this hand now. For a long time, I, I knew deep down in this my is heart and soul, bad how it went. there's no one as Stop. beautiful and as accomplished <laughs> as you. So then I finally was like, Andrew, I, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love you. <laughs> Pride and Prejudice, probably my favorite movie. That sounds really cheesy, but so good. You think they're about to like have a fight and then he like leans in and you're like, wait, what the heck are you about to smooch? You don't know. It's, it's love, it's war, it's wild, you know? I said yes. Oh, she said yes. We I forgot did. that part. You gonna play? You gonna play? Yeah, play gentle. It's really focused on the shape. You look at it. If you look at it, you'll play the right notes. <laughs> <laughs>